of course, your own local police chief, Bruce Grady, has made yet another astonishing breakthrough in our state's war on drugs. Now that's fine police work. Do you know how fast you were going? What? How fast you were going. You smell something, Rabbit? Fear. There'll be no more running of marijuana through Spurberry on my watch. You can count on that. Did uh, I do something wrong, officers? Because I know I wasn't speeding. What are you pulling back what there? Are you pulling back there. Well, uh, mostly just soap, I think. Another highway cop? What you got? Multiplying? You should keep these dogs on a leash, John. I got the latest list, gentlemen. It's down to Flagstone, Deerlick, and us. You want to tell me what bugs crawled up your big ass, Grady? Yeah, I will tell you. This is our crime scene. We are taking it. John, as far as all this brawling with the local police is concerned, we'll have to get them. What the hell is going on to you guys? I told you to be good. I told you this was a bad time, but you go ahead and get into a battle royale with the locals at a crime scene. What? But they started that fight. Of course they started the fight. They want us to blow it. I'm looking for Chief Grady. I have some files for him. Grady's not here. I'll take the files. This is kind of important. What's this? So are you originally from Vermont, or, uh, or what? <laughs> What's this guy moving? Soap, I think. I scratched your back, Bruce. I scratched it good and hard. Now, either you scratch my back, or you're gonna get my size 10 boot up your ass. Lock and load, Ramadol. Let's kick some tail. Hey, we could even chase drug dealers together. Now, I've spoken to the governor myself. She is gonna shut your station down, so it's going I'm all high. All right, Ronnie. Why'd you call me up here? Yeah, yeah. Take... I was just about to pull out my knife. 